Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to be talking about the home base north. In this particular design, I'm going to be doing a damage build, right? And I want to make it as cheap as possible while still being effective for wave 1, wave 11, and wave 21, which does, which this gets attacked on. Now, one thing to keep in note is that it won't get attacked on wave 26, which is the most difficult random wave. Right. So with that in mind, I can just make this che as cheap as possible and just optimize for those other two waves. All right. So one thing to note before I get started with building this is that you can see at the very end, I have the broad sides, right? With the ceiling zappers and the tar pits, right? Ceiling zappers, I generally use the no reload ones, right? Just for pure damage and pure crit. Um, but you can use whatever rolls you got. It's not really too much of a big deal as long as, long as you're not doing something really silly with them. Um, now another thing to note as well is that the fronts over here is going to need to have some samples, right? So make sure you have samples at the very front of your tunnels, and you should be good to go with wave 11 when there's propanes. Luckily, there's not too many propanes, so you may not be required to put a base down here, right? Which lets you AFK wave 11 when it does uh, get attacked, all right? Um, so that's why I have all these samples at the front over here, and then towards the back, you know, you see these little wall launchers, which then add for some ground control, right? Um, at the west over here, you're going to need a sufficient amount of layers. You're going to need a total of 10 layers from this point all the way over to that point. Right? So make sure you have those sufficient amount of layers. And over here, you're just going to need to have one layer on the east side. All right? And because there's going to be sufficient amount of layers on your block off on the east spawn. Right? So this block off over here, which I'm looking at, is also going to be for the home base north. Right? So make sure you have sufficient block off here. Right, and then for here, there's going to be just two layers. <coughs> and with that in mind, I think we should be good to go just to go ahead and start building this. All right, so let me tear this down. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back and the home base north is empty. And the, uh, the home base design over here is going to have a total of 10 walls. So you can see three on the east, south and west and one on the north. Okay. And then there's going to be two slants over here towards the west, as you can see. There's going to be two slants on the south, and there's going to be three slants on the east, right? As additionally, there's going to be a rooftop on here, right? Flat floor, flat wall, and flat floor. And pretty much that's the design of the home base north, right? And this particular wall is going to have a wall dart, because this is where I wanted to path them at the end. Okay. Um, with that in mind, we can move on to the uh, block off here. So on the block off on the east, we're going to have a total of four layers. We have four walls at the very top as shown there, the slants layers out here, the three flat floors on here, and then the three walls on here. And this is going to be the required block off for this area. All right. And once we have that, we can move on to the building part. So the building of this is that we're going to try to make kind of like a little, uh, little design over here so as you can see I'm gonna put flat floors over here for some reason I can't put them here there we go and then there's gonna be some walls over here right so we're gonna layer this up as much as we can at the front over here right so we can save the amount of layers for the back right so this is the layers at the front here all right I'm gonna put a wall here it's gonna be the walls over here the flat floors the slants the walls and the flat floors a total of five layers okay <clears throat> now, on top of this one, I'm going to actually put a slant over here, right? A little pyramid. And I'm going to put a slant over here facing this way. And I'll explain why I'm doing this over here, right? Let's go ahead and copy this as shown. All right? So I'm just going to look over here, copy that as shown, and I'll explain why I do this later. And the idea of this is that I'm going to try to have some sort of area over here, which I can do some crowd control or whatever, right? Right, so let's just build some of these walls over here, right, as a little bit of a guideline. Right, we'll do the editing later on. But this is kind of like the guideline of how we're going to be passing them. Right, it's going to be some area which we're going to do stuff to. Right, and once we come up here, there's also going to be a little bit of area which we can do stuff to. Now you can be a little more, a little bit more elaborate and start doing stuff over here as well. But to save on structures, we can just omit them. Right, and just do the crowd control at the front and then do more damage at the back over here, right? Cheaper damage. All right, 
Now I'm going to put the flat floors over here as well, right? Just to indicate that this is the pathing that we're going to take, right? So the so this over here, we're going to let the pass path all the way over this way. And this over here, we're going to let the pass path all the way over that way. And then ideally in the west spawn, right? Because there's going to be a spawn over here, right? So these are the spawn locations. In this particular spawn, there's going to be less husks coming here, right? But we're going to path them all the way east. Right? And the ideal way to do this block off over here, right? Uh, is to just, I guess I can do this for now. It's just block it off over here as shown. Right? And I'll edit this later. But you can just get a guideline that there's going to be some block off over here. And you're going to path them all over there as well. Right? This block off over here is going to be quite big. Quite big. Alright. Now, at the front over here. Now, we're going to need to do a little bit of layering. Right? So, I'm going to do this layering right now as shown. So, you can see I'm just going to do walls all across here. And... I'm going to do walls over here, so I'm going to do three walls over here, as you can see, to block them from that entrance. And I suppose over here, perhaps I could do, actually I'm going to, I'm going to change this up, I'm going to do this, yep, there we go, and, <coughs> excuse me, there we go. So I'm going to move it up just one tile up over here, and then go ahead and start layering up, there we go. So we have four walls over here with one wall over there. All right, so now we have a pretty much a general idea how they're going to be pathed. Okay. So with this layer over here, we need to make sure there's appropriate amount of layers. So I'm actually going to just uh, remove this for now. And then I'm going to do a lava bomb shift, right? Because there's going to be a lava bomb that might break these structures over here, right? So we're going to need to shift this lava bomb. To shift it, all we have to do is do this over here, the three half floors. All right, and this should say shifted lava bomb. You can also do the flat uh, floors over here, and the half floors facing the north side would also work. Make sure they're not facing the east side, as this will not shift the lava bomb. All right, with that in mind, I am going to wall this off over here with the successful lava bomb shift, and there's going to be a wall over here, right? And this is just to prevent them from going on these block off uh, for the ridge amplifier. Okay. Now, with that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and start layering this up. As you can see, lava bomb shift. There we go. Layer this up like this. Right? I'm going to also do a layer over here. Right? You can kind of see what I'm doing. There's the slant over there. And we're going to have five walls as shown in the picture. I'm going to do a slant like this. Let's see. Yep, there we go. So we have the two slants over here with the three walls, and that would act as two additional layers. And next we have this over here. All right, the slants over there. And I think I might do this. There we go. There we go. So you kind of see the layering that I'm doing right now, right? And this is gonna be the required layer for this block off. All right, and this should have one, two, three, four five, six layers at the front over here, right? And then we're gonna need four more at the back. So there's gonna be the seventh layer. This is the eighth layer, and this is gonna be the ninth layer. Oh, wait, hold on. No, this is four, no, never mind. This has already had four layers. So that's four layers here, and this is six layers there. Total of 10 layers, so there we go. <coughs> And I don't think I need a wall over here because this particular pathing is going to be pathing away from the uh, home base. So that would act as nine layers instead of ten, and that should be enough for the extra pathing. All right. Now I'm also going to add these over here. And I'm going to and later on put wall dynamos over here, right? Which then there's just also going to have a ceilings over here, which I probably used, I guess, the ceiling drop traps. Whoops. Uh, there we go. Yeah, because it sometimes seems like my game glitches and it doesn't let me uh, place these structures. So I have to rotate the floors to place them. Okay. But, yeah, there we go. So we have some ceilings over here, which I'm also going to put some traps down. 
at the front over here, I'm also going to put down a little bit of ceiling zappers over here, which is okay. Um, and I think that should be pretty much the basic idea how am I going to be doing this. I think as well, I might actually put this over here and put the walls over here and the flat floor. All right. So that should be pretty much the finalized uh, structures over here. Okay, I think I might even do a little edit over here, just facing this way, so that acts as additional layering for the southeast over here. Okay, so with that in mind, we can actually get started trapping. Okay, so I'm gonna trap the block off first, right? And this is block off trapping is more or less for the uh, random husk that may want to beat on it, right? And I'm going to be using, I think, the healing ones, right? So the healing triple impact and double reloaders, right? On each tile that you see, right? So this tile over here is met with this tile, so I don't need a trap over here. Right. <coughs> so that is the block off for that. On some of these walls, you may not need it, but it's, again, for extra precaution. Right, so four wall launchers over there, four wall launchers over there, and two on, on there. So that's like 10 structures of wall launchers. Now I'm going to put a sound wall over here, and this sound wall is actually for the north spawn, right? If there's a north spawn, just have a little bit extra sound wall for that. So two sound walls over there. Now, another thing you can do, right? These sound walls, I'm not going to put wall darts through, but these traps over here, I do want to put wall darts through it. So with that in mind, I'm going to open them up with the holes, because everyone loves holes. And then I'm going to put the wall darts behind it. So wall darts behind here. And then I'm going to put a sound wall here, and I think I'm going to put a sound wall here. I think I'm going to also open this up with the hole and put a sound wall there. And then put a wall dart behind it, right? So. And what's really nice about this particular uh, wall dart is that it's shooting the two possible positions over here, which is primarily for the bigger husk like smashers, and over here as well. Right, so it's doing two of them, shooting through. <clears throat> Whereas this one's only shoot, it's shooting two as well, but uh, it's not having a hole here. Because I'm going to put some wall launchers, right? And the wall launchers I'm going to use is the triple impact double reloaders. Put one here, and I'm also going to put one in here as well. All right, so this is kind of like a little chain launch going on here. Launch them here and then launch them back. And over here, I'm going to launch them here and into a little timeout box over here. All right, give me a little basic timeout box. In order to really take advantage of this timeout box for the smashers, I want to use these low half walls over here, or the low low ones. <coughs> and the reason why I'm using the low low ones is because I'm also going to put a wall dart over here, which would allow to shoot through them. Now, if you left this floor tile over here, the, the husks are actually going to want to hit on it. And the reasons for that is from the 12.0 patch, which is still unknown to me of why they want to hit on it. So we're going to do this little trick that I did uh, before on the valley, which actually still works over here, is using a half floor over here. And the half floor is going to allow them to do a little U-turn all the way around here without breaking it. Right? So it's going to be kind of like a nice little U-turn over here which is nice because not only is no longer meeting this particular floor over here, right, but it's going to allow us to do a U-turn. So it's a very strong uh, way of taking advantage of this. Okay, uh, while still dealing with that uh, silly bug. <coughs> At the front over here, I think I might want to use this particular wooden floor spike, and this is going to be a legacy one. But if you don't have a legacy one with higher reload, then you use whatever one you've got. Right? You can even use one with more damage, right? More damage over here, which is also very effective as well. All right. So it's up to you which one you want to use. Okay. And then the I'm actually going to put also a sound wall over here. Oh, not here. Not this one. So put two sound walls over here. Put a sound wall over here so as they come up from the bottom, they can also get sound walled. Okay, beautiful. I am gonna use a ceiling electric fields. In the ceiling electric fields, I use no reloads. And put them all the way across. 
All right. So then when they're in this tile, which I'm standing on, right, in this half, this electric field will also hit them, right? But if they're on this half, this electric field will not trigger it. <coughs> All right. So let's see. That's looking good so far. Now I'm going to put some freeze traps over here. And the freeze traps are really nice for these little timeout boxes for regular husks, right? And that's what I want to do is to kill those regular husks really quickly at the very beginning. Right? And freeze their buttons and there could be a chance where this wall launcher on wave 11 would stagger a smasher in this position over here right and wave 11 is the only wave which a smasher will spawn so with that in mind it's not going to be too high level but at the same time it should be strong enough where it could still kill them so i'm going to put it in here stagger them in here and then a double broadsides right and the double broadsides will do massive damage to them Right? And hopefully there won't be any healer husks, uh, but you know, I haven't experienced healing husks uh, yet in wave 11 because, well, I haven't seen wave 11, so. And then over here, I'm going to be using a wall dynamo. In the wall dynamo, I'm going to use this one, but you know what? Because the broads, you know, I think I'm going to use the reload ones because the broad sides have the same reload. So I just want to stagger them a little bit. <coughs> All right, there we go. And then the wall dark will shoot through all of it, whether it's in this position or in this position. Now going up here, I do want to do a little bit of nuking, right? So I'm going to do a little bit of nuking. I'm going to use two nuke dynamos and then a regular reload one, it's just in case. And then I'm going to use a nuke ceiling zapper over here. Using a wall dart over here, it would shoot through here, here. And if they get a tar pit over here, if it's a smasher, the wall dart will still hit them, right? <clears throat> which, speaking of which, let's put some tar pits over here. This would stop the smasher from charging all the way to that wall over here, right? Well, as long as they don't bug out. And then we have these ceiling zappers at the top over here with no reloads, right? And this is for nuking. And of course, we're only expecting smasher to come up here, so we're going to put in some broadsides over here, which would also help nuke them. And I should have no structures left, or... Two, I only have two structures left. <clears throat> um, but yeah, that is pretty much the design over here. Now I'm going to go ahead and upgrade everything. And just double check to make sure I didn't miss any structures, right? Okay. Now, after recording, I actually did a few test runs. And I was very fortunate to actually get Wave 11 on the home base north. Which actually helped me quite a bit to determine exactly what happened. Now, everything was going to pretty much exactly the way I thought it would be, right? Uh, the propanes did not explode, your sound walls did their job, and this was a very good recycling system. And the only thing that was coming up here was pretty much the smashers, right? Um, now, I did notice that a little uh, gunslinger did get stuck on here, either here or here, right? So what I think I might do is put a, a little bit of ceiling electric field down here. All right, just a little bit, right, and just for that. But I don't think it's 100% necessary because they did die eventually uh, from this ceiling electric field. Okay, so that was just one little minor thing. I might just put these there for extra precaution, but I don't think it's really needed, right? I don't think it's really needed. Um, now, another thing to note as well is that a smasher did successfully make it all the way over here, but that smasher had 5% health, right? It had 5% health, and after that, no other smasher made it over there. So, what I ended up doing is just add a one tar pit over here and a wall door over there, and that should kill the smasher. But there's a little bit of RNG because there is the healer husk that is in here, right? So, the healer husk in here might start healing the husk a bit too much. Right, so, there's a bit of RNG with the healing husk um, and the uh, smasher health, but hopefully, this should deter that 5% health with no base. All right, but that's pretty much the only little change that I noticed from wave 11 and the wave 21, of course. Well, there should be no problems there. All right, but yeah, that is the home base north design. I hope everybody enjoyed it. Um, and as always, have fun building. <laughs>